Hi everyone, this is Yuxia from Zhejiang University. Today, I will be presenting our work on top of this ontology enhanced zero shot learning. In short, we propose a zero shot learning framework named ontology, which explores the class semantics from ontological schemas and an ontology based generative model to improve the zero shot learning performance in different tasks such as image classification and the knowledge graph compilation. We first began by introducing what is zero-shot learning. ZSL is a training strategy that allows a machine learning model to predict for new classes that have never appeared in the training data. For example, in animal image classification, the model is trained by three classes, horse, tiger, and panda. But at the testing stage, the model is used to classify the images of new class zebra. While in other cases such as knowledge graph completion, where the knowledge graph is incomplete with missing connections, unlike traditional completion methods which assume the knowledge graph is fixed and all the testing entities and the relations have appeared at the training time. The zero-shot KGC is to process the predictions with entities or relations that are newly ended during testing, that is, complete the missing connections with new entities or relations. We call these trained classes as thin classes and these newly emerged classes as unseen classes. Correspondingly, in zero-shot KGC, they are seen and unseen entities or relations. ZSL is also widely introduced in other tasks such as relation extraction and visual question answer. It is an important technique for the sample shortage problem. The key to solving the ZSL problem is to utilize some set information of classes. In the example of animal classification, it can be a sentence like the zebra has a horse-like body, tiger-like stripes, and is black and white like a panda. This kind of sending information models the semantic relationship among classes, based on which the model parameters learned from horse, tiger, and panda can be transferred to zebra. In addition to the textual descriptions, other set information include attribute description and class taxonomy. However, all of these set information are limited with incomplete semantics. For example, the textual description are always noise. The attribute description suffer from the domain shift problem, where the same attribute may be virtually different in different classes. For example, the tail attribute in horse and pig. While the class taxonomy tree often lacks further discriminative semantics for leaf classes, Targeting on this, we expect more complete and more expressive set information to boost the performance of ZSL, and we believe the ontological schema is the solution we desired. Ontological schema, also known as ontology, is famous for modeling the concept in a domain and the semantic relationships between concepts. It also contains valuable information such as concept hierarchy and metadata. We use these ontologies to integrate existing class set information so that this knowledge can benefit each other and show in the zero-shot image classification case. And in zero-shot knowledge graph completion, we focus on the newly ended relations and also introduce their ontological set information such as their entity type constraint and relation hierarchies. Given this ontological schema, we designed a framework onto ZSL with an ontology-based generating model. It mainly includes four parts. The first is an ontology encoder. It encodes the ontological schema by an ontology embedding methods, and from which we can learn a semantic embedding for each class. Conditioned on the class embedding, the next is a generation model, where again is adopted to generate samples for each class. There is also a feature extractor that is learned to extract the features of real samples, which will be used to guide the adversarial training in game. After being trained with the samples of thin classes, the generation model can be used to generate the samples for unseen classes conditioned on their class embeddings. Correspondingly, 
Uh, the short class file is designed to predict the testing samples of unseen classes. In these components, the ontology encoder and the generation model are general to different DSL tasks, while the feature extract and the short class file are task specific. Specifically, we propose a text-aware ontology embedding model to embed the structural triples and the textual description of class concepts in the ontologies. We first use the triple embedding method such as Transy to learn a structural representation for each class. And then we use word embedding and the TF-IDF features to represent the textual features of each class. Finally, we fill in these two representations by projecting them into a common space and training them use the same objective function. After training for each class concept, we learn two types of class embeddings, a structure-based one and a text-based one, and then we concatenate them to form the final class embedding. We adopt GAN as the generation model. Taking the animal classification as an example, we input the class embedding of horse as well as some random noise into the GAN, and the generator then synthesizes its fake samples. After the adversarial training between the fake samples and the real host samples by a discriminator, the generator can synthesize samples that fit the real feature distribution of horse. With the well-trained generator at the testing stage, given the class embedding of an unseen class zebra, the model can generate its samples, and which will be used to train a class file. There are also some additional losses to enforce the generator to synthesize more plausible samples. With the generated unseen data, the ZSL problem is turned into a traditional supervised learning problem, which can avoid the bias towards the same classes during prediction, a common issue in other ZSL methods. We first apply onto ZSL to zero short image classification. Here we use well known CL models such as ResNet to extract the sample features of images. With generated unseen image features, we train a typical softmax classifier for each unseen class. Compared with previously used set information, our ontological schema contains more complete semantics. For example, the leaf classes have more specific descriptions with attribute nodes, while attributes in different classes have more global constraints from class-level semantics. We also apply onto ZSL to zero-shot knowledge graph completion. Here, the feature extract is to learn cluster structured relation embedding with the related entity pairs. And with the generated embeddings of unseen relations, we complete the testing triples by comparing the unseen relation embedding with the candidate entity pair representations. Compared with the previously used textual descriptions of relations, our ontological schema contains more semantics to build the relationship between KG relations. We evaluate the zero-shot image classification task on three datasets, a standard benchmark AWA and two datasets we extract from ImageNet. We also studied two settings during prediction. One is the standard ZSL, which classifies the testing samples of unseen classes with candidates from unseen class sets. The other is generalized ZSL, where both seen and unseen testing samples are classified. We take accuracy as the evaluation metric. In standard ZSL, the class averaged accuracy for all unseen classes is computed, while in generalized ZSL, we compute the accuracy for seen and unseen classes separately, and finally calculate a harmonic mean of them. Compared with the attribute semantics used in AWA, the word embeddings and the class taxonomy semantics used in ImageNet subsets. Our ontology-based class semantics achieves the state-of-the-art performance no matter in standard ZSL or generalized ZSL. Well, in zero-shot knowledge graph completion task, we conduct experiments on neural ZS and Wikidata ZS, two datasets extracted from neural and Wikidata. Here, 
We only start the standard ZSL testing setting, consider that the candidate space not involves thin relations. Across different metrics, our onto ZSL achieves the, achieves the best results compared with the text-based relation semantics used in the baselines. We further validate the effectiveness of our ontology-based class semantics. Specifically, we replace the original class semantics used in the baselines with our learned class embeddings and compare the performance change. According to the example results on two image datasets, we find that all the baselines achieve higher performance when we use ontology-based class semantics. This shows that our ontological schema, which includes richer class semantics actually performs better. We also found that with the same class semantics, our onto ZSL and other generative-based methods such as LSR can perform better than other ZSL methods, especially those using graph neural network such as DJP. We also evaluate the impact of different components in the ontological schema by removing them and analyzing the performance drop. According to the example results on ImageNet A and NeoZS, we find that all of these components have positive contribution to the ZSL model and are complementary to each other. To the best of our knowledge, this is among the first ones to explore expressive class set information from ontological schema in zero-shot learning. With more complete class semantics, our onto ZSL achieves significant performance improvement compared with traditional set information. In onto ZSL, we propose a text aware ontology embedding model which will fill in the semantics in ontologies and the class embedding learned from it can be flexibly applied to different ZSL methods. We also employ an ontology-based generative model to synthesize training samples for unseen classes, which is beneficial to reducing the prediction bias towards the same classes. Finally, we also contribute two benchmarks for the ZSL community. That's all. Thanks for your listening. If you wish to learn more, please read our paper or talk with us at the conference.